Mr. Uh, Fountain, are you ready for your closing argument? <laughs> Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> Gentlemen of the jury, territorial law places right, a dreadful burden upon your shoulders. You must decide whether a man is to be convicted of an awful crime or not. You heard Mr. Antrim testify as to what happened. He said several times he did not kill her crazy. Now, a little bit about the law. In order to convict Mr. Antrim of killing Sheriff Brady, as the court has charged, you must be satisfied from the evidence, and only from the evidence, to the exclusion of all reasonable doubt. That Mr. Antrim actually fired, that he was the one who actually fired the shot that caused the death of Brady. And second, and second, that such a shot was fired by Mr. Antrim with the premeditated design to affect the death of Mr. Brady. Got all that. These are the two requirements of the law together. And the law further charges that you must be convinced of both requirements of the law before a reasonable doubt, before a defendant, a defendant can be prop, properly and legally convicted. If you find that the guilt of the defendant is not fully proven, then a reasonable doubt does exist in your mind, and the law demands that you find Mr. Andrew innocent. You cannot guess a man into a murder. You have heard there were eight men standing behind an eight-foot-tall wall. Eight men shooting through a through porthole. Of those eight men, how many people are on trial for the murder of the sheriff? One. Nobody saw who did it. Bullets coming out of a porthole is only one man being accused of murder. Who decided it should be Mr. Anderson? No reasonable doubt, folks. Think about it. Members of the jury, remember what you heard from the other witnesses. There were people that wanted to shout them out and throw them out. And Mr. Antrim does not need to prove that he did not shoot Mr. Brady, as the prosecution has implied with its questioning and possible. You don't have nobody to, has to prove their innocence. It's not a consideration in court. Banish that thought completely from your mind. A man is innocent, as you know, until proven guilty. Don't prove innocent, proven guilty. The prosecution didn't approach by proving that Mr. Antrim was guilty. The only evidence they gave you were unreliable witnesses who obviously couldn't have seen what they claimed, heads popping up over an eight-foot wall. Whoever did the shooting did so through portholes. We know that. You know that. Deputy Matthews confirmed the portholes were there. The men who fired the shots shot through those holes. They did not raise their heads over an eight-foot corral wall. That suggestion both farcical and absolutely false. The men who were shooting were never seen, never seen. And they are, to this day, completely unknown. Do not convict Mr. Antrim of a crime that perhaps, probably, somebody else committed. My client rests his life in your hands. <laughs> Mr. Nuka.